confirm to me. Hello, forget my voice on screen. Those who are attending in online. Guys, please confirm to me. Hello, forget my voice on screen. Those who are attending in online. Is my voice is clear to all of you? Guys, please confirm to me. Hello, forget my voice on screen. Guys, please confirm to me. All of you are getting voice on the screen. Those are attending in online. Right. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, guys. <coughs> and um, just give a minute of time to me. Uh, I will set right the document like a regular class classroom document i want to share with you daily Okay, uh, now every day I'm going to provide these notes to you, regular notes every day. Classroom notes will be provided to you. So here, and uh, Okay. <clears throat> Right, sir. Now, please, all of you take this uh, URL. What is the URL here I am showing there? Not visible. Yeah. So, okay. Now, please, uh, take this URL. Whatever the URL here I have given there. Take this URL <clears> HTTPS <throat> colon slashes tiny URL dot com slash core Java four three zero nodes. Take and uh, check one time in our mobiles whether this document is open or not. Okay, just folder we will get there. If you click on it, you will get a folder where you can see this document. There we can see this document. So here daily, I'm going to note the content. I'm going to write the notes daily here. Here, I'm going to write the notes here every day. <clears throat> Any problem? Okay. Right, sir. 
now for online students i'm sharing this uh, link to you in the questions box so that you can check this for offline students just we can take it hdbvs colon slash s tinyurl.com slash core java 430 notes yes <clears throat> here only i'm going to provide everyday notes please check once whether you are getting these notes or not in our mobile phone so that easily we can move forward all right sir then on a friday i have taken one class just have given introductory part for what there just introduction part for core java i have taken not only core java introductory part for java programming language as i have taken a small demonstration for java all right sir let us have small review then quick review on the topic what i completed there just after that we will plan for what there another content care now all right sir then on, on that day what exactly the content care i provided there if you observe this see this <coughs> all right sir few points here are given there so java in general people are thinking about it java is available in three parts like core java advanced java and j2 ee no so this is wrong calculation it's a wrong analysis this is not provided by sun microsystems sun microsystems but what java was provided by sun microsystems actually java was provided by sun microsystems in the three models what are the three models which are provided by java there first one is j2 se second one is j2 ee and third one is what there j2 me overall three parts there are given some few points about the java right and its content here what are the few points here are given there observe carefully j2 se already we started what exactly the meaning of j2 se given there java to standard edition it will cover only fundamentals of java programming means that it able to <clears throat> it can be used to this fundamentals can be used to prepare one type of application what type of application we are able to prepare there standalone application what is the meaning of the standalone application guys now tell me if we design and execute any application without using client server architecture or without distributing application logic over multiple machines then that application is called as standalone application that application is called as what there standalone application next one is apart from this that another point i'm telling to you out of all the applications how many applications are standalone applications there only five percent of the applications are what there standalone applications examples are given there calendar uh, calculator in our system all these are like what there standalone applications next one is direct utilization of j2se is a five percent is only but it's a dependency level is a thousand percent why because j2 se is a dependent programming language dependent programming language for other for the other tools and technologies like advanced java java frameworks like spring is bringing about microservices and web services and so on selenium salesforce and sap related things so where definitely java is required that's why it's a direct utilization is only it's a direct utilization is only uh five percent is no but it is a it's a dependent programming language dependent programming language for multiple multiple programming languages other technologies and tools so due to that reason core java is mandatory for everybody j2 se is mandatory for everybody this is the point here we are discussing there now leave it now uh, some points we discussed about what the j2 ee what exactly the points here we are discussing about j2 ee j2 ee stands for java 2 enterprise edition it will cover server side programming what it will cover actually only server side programming All right sir by using server side programming we are able to prepare two types of applications by using server side programming we are able to prepare uh, which type of applications there no enterprise applications are distributed applications what is an enterprise application or what is a distributed application if you observe this point is very clear try to understand this point you know 
if it design and execute any application in the case of <clears throat> in the case of stand alone applications if it design and execute any application without using client server architecture this without using what there client server architecture but now here what's the point i'm telling there an enterprise application if it design and execute any application on the basis of client server architecture on the basis of what their client server architecture by distributing application logic over multiple machines then that application is called as an enterprise application or a distributed application don't worry then in the future we are going to talk more about this distributed applications and all enterprise applications next one is out of all the applications how many applications are distributed applications now 95 percent of the applications are what they're distributed applications five percent of the applications are what they're standalone applications but 95 percent of the applications are what they're distributed applications next one all banking applications are distributed applications all the social network applications are like what they're distributed applications like facebook or gmail or twitter and so on all e-commerce applications like what they amazon or flipkart all these are what they're distributed application in every domain not only in this case now in the healthcare domain maybe aerospace domain maybe right in banking sector maybe insurance domain maybe in every domain every application is related to what their j2e application only i'm so carefully what i'm telling you now okay these are some points about what their j2e next one is what their j2me uh, what is this j2me actually java 2 micro edition what is this JTME guys? Now tell me Java 2 micro edition. By using JTME, what we are able to cover now? By using JTME, what we are able to get now? Micro programming. Here we are able to get. We are able to provide micro programming. By using this micro programming, which type of applications here we are able to prepare now? Mobile based applications. By using micro programming, we are able to prepare mobile based applications. Next one. What exactly the meaning of mobile based application gear? If you design and execute any application on the basis of mobile hardware system, on the basis of mobile hardware system, then that application is called as is called a mobile based application. Guys, understand it clearly. If you design and execute any application on the basis of a mobile hardware system, then that application is called as what there? Mobile based application recognize it what i am telling you know right sir how many applications are mobile based applications actually in outside there in outside everywhere everywhere mobile based applications are available everywhere mobile based application every domain nowadays then all the other domains are also be converted for what their mobile based applications all right sir. now then after that i given one point here what is that point here i'm giving there mobile application development is having very good demand J2ME is not having demand here. Mobile applications or mobile application development is having because of number of alternatives. For mobile application development, so many alternatives are available. What are the various alternatives for mobile application development? No, there we can understand maybe Android is one of the best alternative. iPhone, I iPhone and Apple and iPhone technologies. That is another one. Here. So because of these many, because of these many uh, like alternatives, no, because of these many alternatives. So J2ME is not having much demand. All the alternatives are giving good platform to prepare mobile based applications. Right, sir. Now these are the points that we understood there. So overall here, what I'm telling there, Java, Java in the sense, only two parts. What are the two parts there? No, J2ME, J2EE. I'm so carefully what I'm telling you know. Next one, after that, I've given some the plan of action, uh, what we are able to get advantages for joining my classes here anyway just one time i want to repeat all of them then after that i'll move on to the our content here every class is being recorded in my classes no every class is being recorded so what i'm telling there i want to provide every recorded class to you i'll give that share every class within one hour of reading this class you are able to get a video then you can watch that video so multiple advantages are available by sharing these classes videos to you next one is every for every course materials will be provided 
access to the classroom notes and up classroom applications just now i given a link for you for the sake of the classroom notes and as well as for the sake of what their applications if any big application if you prepare now you are unable to take that big application so i need to share that big application to you to share that big application i'll give some access to you so that we are able to get it next one is working with multiple databases that means in my enterprise application development in jdbc java uh, jdbc java development that means uh, java database connectivity where i need to use some databases i need to use some databases in our courses there so definitely i am going to use oracle and mysql databases now working with multiple servers like what there tomcat weblogic and all also carefully we are going to see some more than one server in the j2e part that means in advanced java part working with multiple ids like what there eclipse intellij id and netbeans at the core java we are going to see eclipse and as well as what there intellij id at the core level we are able to see what there eclipse and what next one no intellij id these two things only here we are able to get got my point or not then at the end of the course you are able to get course completion certificate and we are able to provide companies drives number of companies we are going to invite but not immediately at the core level no company will come to you no company will take to you whenever we are in frameworks by the time only you are able to get we are able to take uh, uh, companies will take you definitely so whenever we are in frameworks spring is spring about microservices we are definitely i'll invite number of companies then i'm able to provide some opportunities for you regarding these drives now recruitment drives okay <coughs> right guys and uh, yeah that's okay fine on friday i have taken one demo class in the demo class what i have given uh, just simple some road map i have given about these courses now like some different different courses and different different views i provided there in the like what there friday one demo class i have taken this is a not demo class today i need to start actual content get just one time i'm repeating that all right so then if any of you are having doubts about this course road map and everything there don't worry for it inside this document i'll include the diagram then i given one diagram there how many batches i started there what exactly the things i provided here i will give the total process one time to you so that you can check in the document here don't worry for it no all right that's okay fine now let's move on to the content guys all of you observe carefully yeah these details are okay now get now today i want to start a core java content core java content today i'm going to start there that means j2s key so this j2s key today i'm going to start the content now it's for core java people or basic java package students or complete java complete java students and full stack java for everybody this is the core java class today i am starting this so without failure now try to understand the content here guys one more time i am telling to you now i am going to start the core java this is a core java for what students there only core java if you are looking there now this is a content next one is basic java students and complete java students and full stack java students so for all the members today i am starting what there core java yes, sir is it clear or not fine <clears throat> right sir so before going to start a core java content just first of all i want to list out the topics what i am going to be covered in a core java at least one time we have to see that before going to start our actual content without having proper direction how can we uh, start our content you know first of all let's have what exactly the topics i am going to be discussed uh, in our classes there in a core java when i'm going to start advanced java i'll give list of topics to you when i'm going to start frameworks there i'm going to give list of topics to you know first of all let us understand clearly introduction i'm going to provide the very first one is like what there introduction here i'm going to provide introduction introduction topic here we are going to understand guys observe carefully inside this introduction what i am going to take the content here insert this introduction what exactly the concepts here i am going to discuss with you try to recognize this in the introduction part please recognize this in introduction part in general in introduction part what exactly the purpose to come for java programming language we have so many programming languages in outside 
C, C++ and all, then what is the requirement to go for Java? What is the need of to come for Java? This is first point. We need to understand this. Then after that, what exactly the history of the Java? What is the story of Java? What exactly the history of the Java? Then after that, after completion of this history of the Java, then after that, Java programming format, Java naming conventions. Okay, all these basic, very, very basic points here we are going to understand part of the introduction. After completion of the, after completing the total introduction part, after completing the total introduction part, the next uh, second topic here, what we are going to understand, the second one is steps to prepare first Java application. Steps to prepare, what we are going to prepare there, first Java application. Insert these steps, what we are going to prepare there, observe carefully. Here, so many steps are available here. What are the various steps are available to prepare first Java application now? Right, sir. The first one is <clears throat> how to install Java software in our computer. So, I think so might be. How many of you are aware about this Java software installation? I don't know. But as per my responsibility, I need to start from very scratch. How to install Java software in our system? How to download Java software from internet? How to install it in our system? After installation of the Java software in our system there, how to provide setups, what setups we required to use Java software in our system there. No. Installation is not sufficient. Definitely where we need to go for some configuration, some setups we required, that setups we are going to provide. After that, how to download Java editor, Java editor to write Java program. We need some editor, maybe Notepad or Notepad Plus or maybe Edit Plus or maybe Eclipse IDE or maybe NetBeans IDE or maybe IntelliJ IDEA. Then how to download them how to write program to write basic program what exactly the elements we require to write very very basic program what exactly the elements we require that we need after that after completion of this that another thing is like what i'm telling to you after understanding all these things how to save java file in our system in general we thought of it just giving file name dot java that's finished no there are some rules and regulations are available to save the java file and so my point or not then after that after completion of this how to compile java program whatever the file here we have written there how to compile java program in our system here now after compilation of the java program here then what next one how to execute java applications how to run java programs and how to execute java applications then all the things here we are going to understand part of the steps to prepare first java application for first time if you are learning java first time if you are seeing java now this step is very very important this step is what they know very very important here now try to recognize this what i'm telling you clearly next one after completion of this all of you understand this clearly right sir next one is topic number three is what the language of fundamentals sorry right sir then after that topic number three is what their language fundamentals language fundamentals in this language fundamentals, what I'm going to discuss there, how to declare an identifier, how to declare variables, how to declare an identifier, what are the various data types are available, what are the various operators are available to use data types, what exactly the rules and regulations here we have to use and to use uh, like uh, data types, what rules and regulations are available and uh, what exactly the meaning of typecasting, like uh, what are the various types of typecastings, how to write the if condition, how to write else watch, how to write uh, if else uh, conditions now how to write switch cases now how to write loops like for loop and while loop and do while loop all these all the basic programming elements might be you might be aware about these programming elements in c programming language also in c programming language how they are available in c plus plus how they are available and finally in the java how these programming fundamentals are going to be available that we are going to understand effectively in our content Guys, all of you are getting my points or not? What I am telling you now. That's okay, fine. Now, here, let's understand this. Another point here, what I am telling to you. After that, the fourth topic is very, very important topic here. Object orientation. If you want to give some stars for the importance, no, you can give 100 stars. The most important topic in the entire core Java is object orientation only. First, understand it, no? Enter Java, Advanced Java and J2EE. Enter J2E and frameworks are going on. Enter software industry is going on the top of the core Java. Enter software industry is going on, on the top of what their core Java. 
but core java is running on the top of what their object orientation so if no object orientation no core java if no core java no software industry understand it guys what i'm telling you so because of that reason object orientation is a very very important topic one more point i'm telling to you if you go for any interview in outside if interviewer is asking 100 questions for any student out of this 100 number of questions now 60 number of questions you are able to get from core java only remaining 35 to 40 percent of the questions are coming from advanced java and j2ee remaining technologies so 60 percent of the questions you are able to get from what their core java out of the six number of questions from core java you can expect 30 to 35 number of questions from object orientation out of six number of questions now we can expect 30 to 35 number of questions from what they know object orientation so by that we can understand clearly how much importance is available for object orientation moreover in my classes object orientation i'm going to teach effectively more content more deep content we are going to understand the content wise will be very good content here now. this is one of the main topic here we have to understand that's okay fine after completion of this object orientation next one is like what there we are going to understand wrapper classes this is one topic here just i think might be all of you might be aware about data types all of you might be aware about data types even if you're not aware about data types i'm giving information to you know primitive data types are available in all programming languages am i right or not what data types are available no primitive data types eight number of primitive data types are available overall how many data types no eight number of primitive data types what are these eight number of primitive data types no byte short int long float double boolean character come on guys what are the eight number of data types no first one is what there byte next one is short next one is int next one is long float double boolean character care care or character eight number of primitive data types are available for all primitive data types a separate class is defined in java for each and every primitive data type a separate class is defined in java that classes of the primitive data types the classes representation of the primitive data types is called as what their wrapper classes if you want to convert the data from primitive type to object type, object type to primitive type, primitive type to string type, string type to primitive type, string type to object type, object type to string type. If you want to go for these conversions, we are going to use what there? Wrapper classes. If you are not understanding, no need to worry for it. Just overview I am giving there. Once again, we are going to talk about wrapper classes. When the time is coming there, there we are going to understand effectively the total content here. All right, sir. That's okay. Fine. After understanding these wrapper classes, the next topic here, what we are going to understand there, inner classes. Observe carefully, guys. Inner classes here, we are going to understand. Next one. What is the next topic here? We are going to understand there, inner classes. All of you observe carefully. All right, sir. I'm asking one question to you as per your previous knowledge, you know. See, whenever I'm asking questions there, if you know that, try to give answers for it. Even if you are not aware, I'm going to talk about the topics in the future. Don't worry for it. But try to give answers for my questions. I think all of you might be aware about a for loop. Loops. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Loops. Are you aware or not? For loop, while loop, do while loop. All the loops are available. Now tell me, is it possible to, is it possible to write a loop inside another loop? Nested loops. Inner loops. Possible or not possible? We are able to write a loop inside another loop. We are able to write one loop inside another loop. Am I right or not? So nested loops are possible in general in all the programming languages. Similarly, here the point what I am telling to you. In Java, we are able to write a class inside another class. We are able to write a class inside another class. That internal class, whatever the class we declared, an internal that class is nothing but what there inner class so four types of inner classes are available member inner class static inner class method local inner class anonymous inner class so their study we are going to see inside what their inner classes contain 
guys observe carefully what i am telling you that's okay fine after completion of this inner classes like this here another thing is like what i am telling to you packages right sir what is that next topic here we are understanding there packages nothing sir very simple in a java we are going to write the programs in the form of classes and interfaces simple in java we are going to write programming with what there classes and interfaces answer my point here no okay fine package is the collection of classes and interfaces package is what no collection of classes and interfaces as a single unit package is a collection of classes and interfaces as a single unit just like it is a box a box inside this box we are going to keep number of books each and every book is a class or interface no all their collection all their bundle we are providing in a pack that pack is nothing but what no a package here no? not more than that right then after that after completion of this package is topic here next one is we are going to understand string manipulations string manipulations another topic here string manipulations observe carefully guys this is if you want to give some stars there almost all we can give nearly 25 number of stars already we have seen 100 stars for one topic there if you want to give stars there 25 number of stars here we can give for string manipulation in the uh, interviews in the point of interviews maybe in the point of application development maybe this topic is very very important definitely number of questions we are able to get from string manipulation string operations say for example i have a string like durga soft i want to find the length of the string to find the length of the string we are able to have some library what library is available length length method or length function is available next one is i want to convert from lower case to upper case or else i want to convert from upper case to lower case then i want to perform concatenation Dur initially durga is available to this durga i want to append a software for this durga software i want to append what there solutions and so my point you know so this concatenation i want to perform there three more operations i want to remove some spaces before the string after the string so like this so many operations are available all these operations of the strings we are going to understand inside like what there string manipulations that's it guys the next one is what there then after that after completion of this no next one is exceptional handling exception handling if you want to give stars for this no we can give nearly 50 stars for this topic exception handling you can give 50 number of stars that is an importance of this particular topic guys first of all understand it what is this exception handling before that what is an exception no simple runtime error causes abnormal termination to the program what is an exception no runtime error causes abnormal termination to the application yes, sir all of you are getting clarity you know what is an exception now tell me exception is what there runtime error causes abnormal termination to the application but what is the meaning of this exception handling no exception handling main intention is what there avoid abnormal termination providing smooth termination avoiding abnormal termination and providing what there smooth termination that's the meaning of like what there exception handling say when i on simple example i'm telling to you all of you are so careful so at 4 30 you came to the class class is going on successfully the class is going on it's up to one and a four of time the class is going to be happen in the middle of the class all of sudden power failure is occurred Power failure was happened in the middle of the class all of a sudden. In general, when power failure is available, then what we have to do? Uh, we don't have any alternative as of now. As of now, we don't have any alternative. Then we have to terminate the class without completing my subject. Without completing my topic on that day, I have to terminate the class. This type of middle termination is what their abnormal termination. Power failure is an unexpected event. That is an exception. Power failure is what there? Unexpected event. That is an exception. That exception causes abnormal termination of my class. Got my point or not? So, when exception is available, my class is terminated in the middle order of sudden. But as a developer, as an organizer of this particular class, I have to, I have to handle the situation or not? I have to handle the situation or not? So, handling that situation is nothing but what we have to do there? 
we need to do some manipulations to provide smooth termination to my application i need to provide what there smooth termination of my class what is the meaning of smooth termination no at the end of the class at uh, six o'clock i have to terminate the class not at five o'clock not at five thirty at the end of the time i have to terminate the class that is a smooth termination then what i have to do there to provide this handling of this particular situation simply i'll put one power backup system one inverter i will maintain when power is got off when power is got off within two seconds within two seconds my power backup system has to be on i should not have any disturbance in my class due to this power failure immediately power backup system must on automatically has to run projectors on my system and everything is might be ready then automatically i'm going to run what there my classes effectively so here providing provide inverter or providing power backup system is a part of the handling that unexpected event similarly while running our java programs we may have some unexpected events to avoid that unexpected events we need to use some mechanisms that mechanisms are called as what they know exception handling mechanisms anyway at this level you may not understand totally this content here but definitely in the future we are going to go very good content on like what their exception handling that i will take care don't worry for it clearly no right sir this is exception handling topic we are able to understand clearly next one is after that after understanding this exception handling another topic like what there multi threading multi threading this is another topic guys if you want to give stars for it now again i'm telling there there we have to give then 50 number of stars for this topic multi threading the topic now multi threading topic <clears throat> what exactly the meaning of this multi threading what is a thread flow of execution to perform a particular task so for example i have written a program java program only when i execute my program line by line line by line line by line all the intersections are executed or not that the flow is coming to the line by line or not then only that intersections are executed or not that the flow of execution that the flow is called as what a thread that flow is what the thread okay fine now java is allowing more than one thread at a time to execute our program java is allowing what there more than one thread to execute our program so automatically automatically here what happened there multi threaded environment is coming whenever multi threaded environment is available performance of the application will be increased so one simple example i am telling to all of you guys now try to understand it now i think um, all of you are having gmail accounts i think nowadays might be everybody is having what there gmail account am i right or not gmail account is available there so gmail is an application or not gmail is a server side application for example some application can you tell me how many users are accessing at a time the gmail application at a time how many users are accessing the gmail application billions and billions of users are accessing the gmail application or not the countless number of users maybe lakhs and lakhs of users gross of users are you accessing the gmail application or not uh, understand clearly for every user request for every user request one thread will be created on gmail application like 10 members are accessing 10 threads are creating 10 flow of executions are creating thousand members are accessing no thousand flow of executions are created on gmail application are you get my point or not so the gmail application is allowing more than one thread at a time to execute that application or not that is exactly called as what there multi-threaded that application is what there multi-threaded nowadays every application is a multi-threaded application only nowadays every application is what there multi-threaded application only then only performance will be improved if only one threat is allowed think a minute about it now if gmail application is allowing only one user at a time when our turn will come when i open www.gmail.com if it is only one threat allowing at a time then when my my turn will come there already before me how many users are sending requests to get the gmail application no? lakhs of users already in the queue myself is what there 10 lakh person or maybe 11th lakh person am i right or not so where application is slow totally slow no performance is not available we will not use that again that application there no? so there we, to improve performance of our application there we must go for what there multi-threaded everywhere not only in the case of java every technology applications nowadays are what there multi-threaded because of more performance 
because of high performance not only that that multi threading topic is very very important in the uh, gaming softwares gaming softwares guys are aware about this gaming softwares no one simple example i'm telling to you racing examples racing uh, games you are able to see bike racing games or maybe horse racing games am i right or not say for example when you click on start button there first of all might be bikes are available 10 bikes are participated in the race right when you click on start button automatically all bikes are started in race or not all bikes are moving parallelly all bikes are moving parallelly right after some time duration definitely one bike will win that race or not understand guys what i am telling there but if you observe the implementation internally how many bikes are participated in the race now 10 bikes now think of it each and every bike is a thread internally 10 bikes are participated in the race in the sense internally 10 threads are created right when we click on start button automatically all the thread threads are going to start their activity at a time all thread threads are running parallelly 10 bikes are moving there internally 10 threads are running but in multi threading the logic is what there which thread will win which thread will complete its execution we don't know which thread will complete its execution we don't know that is an advantage in the gaming software which bike will win the race we don't know that is the magic here then which bike will win the race we don't know that is a concept there that requirement is needed in the case of racing software no in the case of betting software am i right or not so the same multi threading will be used effectively in the gaming software that's why everybody must have awareness on like what there multi threading understand this point clearly guys next one after that after understanding this multi threading there the next topic another topic is like what there i o streams so the topic here we have to understand what should be the next topic guys i o streams right sir now i o streams if you want to give stars there there we can give 25 stars here i o streams is also be one of the important topic out of all the topics here 25 stars here we are able to give i o streams nothing sir to perform important output operations i think if you know c programming language where printf and scanf functions we are using can you tell me what's the purpose of printf function what is the purpose of printf function to display some data on console on a command prompt scanf function is for what purpose there no read data from command prompt to the c program am i right or not so one is a printf is performing output operation scanf is performing what there no input operation yes sir printf is performing what there output operation scanf is performing what there input operation if you want to perform this input and output operations in java we have to go for what there i o streams not only this command prompt one file is available i want to send data from java program to a file and i want to read data from file to the java program are get my point or not or else network is available i want to send a data from java program to the network from network inside the network some data is available i want to read the data from network to my java application sending data to outside output operation reading data into the java program that is what their input operation to perform this input and output operations there we need some library that library is provided in the form of like what there i o streams that's a topic here we require to understand clearly next one is after completion of this the next topic would be like what i'm telling to you guys next one is continuation here we are going to understanding networking or simply speaking socket programming the next topic would be what there socket programming what is the socket programming now i think all of you might be aware about charting applications am i right all of you might be aware about what applications no charting applications do you have any awareness on charting applications no two users are available and two different machines are same machine whatever it may be two windows are open when i send some data here when i click on send button the data will come to the other person's window when other person is giving reply click on send button data will come to what there another one such type of applications we are able to prepare with what their networking or socket program i will show that program that definitely i am able to prepare some examples here to chat from one window to another window or to send to send the messages from one user to another user another user to one user there so such type of applications we are able to prepare by using networking or by using socket programming right so leave this one then another thing is like what there after that r m i what is this r m i actually remote method invocation remote method invocation all right sir now this remote method invocation 
is somewhat a distributed application development. RMI will be used for what application development there? Right, uh, distributed application development. All of you understand it, guys, what I'm telling you now. For example, my program is available at some other computer. Program, method or function that is available at other computer. From other computer, I want to access my program in another computer. Two computers are available. My method is available in one computer. My program is available in one computer. I want to access that from some other computer. If you want to access method which is available to other computer from another computer, there we have to go for what there? RMI. Calling a remote method from remote mission to local mission. Now I'm standing at local mission. Remote mission is available. Where program is available. I want to call that program from my local mission. Where we require what there now? A remote method invocation. Right, sir. This is okay. The minimum topic that we have to understand there. After completion of this RMI, the next topic is like what there? Internationalization. Next topic is like what there? I18N. Internationalization. Guys, observe carefully. What is the meaning of internationalization here? Nothing. Very simple. Designing Java applications with respect to the local users conventions local users convention some example i'm telling to you guys try to understand it now so in india how date will be represented sir how dates are represented in india date month year am i right or not if you go to some other countries if you go to some other countries say for example italy or maybe german or maybe some other countries there where month date year if you go for some other countries there year month date sir getting my point or not but i prepared one java program that program must be available to the throughout the world indian users can access my program italian users can access my program german users can access my program but when indians are accessing my program my program has to provide the date like what they date month year when the Italian users are accessing my program, my program has to provide the representation is what there month, date, year. When the US users are accessing my program, my program has to display the date is what there year, month, date. But my program is singular or not. But my single program has to access, has to understand the user locality. As per that user locality, my program has to provide its required services or not. Exactly. This point is called as what there internationalization. So providing services with respect to the local users. This is called as what their internationalization. Please recognize this point clearly. All right, sir. Then after that, after completion of this internationalization, next one is a reflection API. Guys, observe carefully that another topic is like what their reflection API. So anyway, this is not going to be understood for you at this moment, though. No? But anyway, one simple statement I'm telling there. I have a class inside the class variables and methods I declared. I want to know what is the name of the class programmatically. I want to get name of the class, super classes, implemented interfaces, variables details, methods details, constructors details, all information about my class. I want to get separately. I want to get information about this class separately. If you want to get information about this class separately, we need some predefined library. That predefined library is what there? Reflection API. This reflection API is about for program only, not about for requirements. One program is available. I want to know how many variables are available in this program. I want to know how many methods are available and their details. I want to know what class is available and their details. If you want to get information about our program, there we have to use what there? Reflection API. Where we are going to use this, that I will discuss with you later on. No need to worry for it. Next one is another topic is like what I'm telling to you annotations. If you want to give stars for this topic there, there we can give nearly 30 stars. Annotations, 30 stars here we have to provide there. Some advantages are available with annotations now, but little bit I want to tell you, you not know, try to understand it clearly, guys. Previously in olden days programming, in olden days programming, XML files are used in our programs. What files are used there? No, XML files are used. Get my point or not? XML files are used in our application development. But whenever we are using XML files, no, 
more and more burden will come to the developers. XML is not related to Java. Non-Java developers have to learn XML technology. It's a heavyweight solution. It's not a good thing. XML is having a number of drawbacks here. To overcome all these drawbacks, no, in place of XML, Sun Microsystems, Java people have introduced a separate topic. The topic is what their annotations. Now, these annotations are very much useful in uh, enterprise application development. Not in core Java, but when we go for advanced Java programs, when we go for like what their servers program there, when we go for EJBs programs, when we go for Spring applications, when we go for Hibernate, in all the cases, these uh, annotations are very much important. They are required for us. Annotations are very much required. Now try to recognize this clearly. So it's also one of the important topic here we have to understand now. Next one is after completion of this JVM architecture. The next topic would be like what there? JVM architecture. Guys, all of you understand this? I'm asking one question to all of you. Now try to answer for it. Who will execute our Java programs? No. Who will execute? I prepared a Java program. I'm saying to you, I'm executing my Java program. Executing Java program in the sense, who is executing our Java programs? No. JVM, Java Virtual Machine, is executing Java program. Understand it? A C program will be executed by C engine. C++ programs are executed by C++ engine. Similarly, Java programs are executed by an engine called as Java engine. The Java engine is also be called as what there? JVM. Java Virtual Mission. Similarly, Python programs are executed by an engine. Python programs are executed by what there? An engine. That engine is what there? PVM. What is that PVM can know? Python Virtual Mission. Here, this is Java Virtual Mission where Python Virtual Mission. So in every programming language, one engine is available to execute the program. The engines are nothing but what there, respect to programming language engines. In Java, JVM is available. But what is JVM? What is the purpose of the JVM? How JVM is executing our Java programs? Inside the JVM, how many components are available? What is garbage collector? What is JIT compiler? What is an interpreter? What is bytecode verifier? What is security manager? All the top level components of the JVM, at least one time we have to understand. Anyway, <clears throat> not required to understand too much about the JVM content here. But what is what is what? What is what kind of information? At least we have to understand. Then only we are able to get some internal concepts of like what their Java programming language. That's why I'm going to discuss about what their JVM architecture. This is one of the important content here we can understand now. <clears throat> right, sir. Then after that. <coughs> one minute guys all right sir then after that after completion of the jvm architecture what we are discussing there other point here garbage collector another content is what there garbage collector garbage collector guys uh, all of you observe this clearly i want to give one simple example to all of you Right in Java, this is very, very important because of this particular topic only Java is getting some demand here. Understand it now. Right. So what is the point here I'm telling to you about this garbage collector? Listen carefully. For example, we used to go for some restaurants in our search. Some restaurants, we used to go there. In the restaurant, when we go to that restaurant, when we sat there, the server will come. That means waiter will come to you. He will ask you, so what do you want to get? Order we have to give there. Okay, fine. Then we have given some food items as an order. After that, he has taken, he has taken that order. He went to the kitchen room. He has given intimation to the respective people. They prepared food item. They sent that food item to us. That food item is available in front of us. I have taken that food item. When we are taking that food item, some wastage is created or not? Definitely. Whenever we are taking some food item, there is some definitely some wastage will be created now. Right. Here, two cases are available. When wastage is created, two cases are available. What are the two cases now? Case number one. Guys, observe carefully. Case number one. There is a notice on the restaurant. 
inside the hall there is a notice if we create the wastes you should take the responsibility of moving that wastes to outside restaurant is not responsible for it case number 1 what is the case number 1 no if we create any wastes while eating you must take the responsibility of taking outside taking this wastes to outside of the restaurant we are not responsible for it if you are not uh, taking that wastes to outside no it will be a fine case number 1 case number 2 if you create any wastes while eating the food items food don't worry keep that wastes just besides you we are responsible for taking out that wastes to outside you get my point or not we are responsible restaurant people are responsible for moving the wastes what you created to outside you should not take any responsibility you are the customer you are god to the restaurant this is case number 2 tell me guys which case is good for you case 2 or case 1 i think nowadays might be no restaurant is maintaining that case 1 if any restaurant is maintaining that case 1 no nobody will go there case 2 is the right case am i right or not that means restaurant will take the responsibility of moving out your wastes am i right or not that is a, that is a, in general customers may feel uh, comfortable in the restaurant only exactly case 1 is a c++ case 2 is a java case 1 is what there c++ and case 2 is what there java in c++ developers are creating number of objects the same developer must take the responsibility to destroy that objects at the end of the program developers are going to create number of objects now where developers must take the responsibility to destroy that objects the program c++ will not take any responsibility to destroy that objects developer those who created objects you must take the responsibility to destroy that objects at the end of the program that means you created waste is no that waste is you have to take the responsibility to move out restaurant will not take the responsibility that is c++ when we come for java what happen java is giving an announcement to every java developer if you want to create waste is you can create up to how much you want to create you can create no problem if you want to create waste is no we can create up to how much you want to create we can create no problem but java programming language will take the responsibility to destroy your waste is how many objects you want to create part of your requirement you can create but that objects destruction would be taken care by java programming language you should not take any responsibility to destroy that objects java programming language will take the responsibility of destroying that objects how java programming language is destroying the objects no how java programming language is taking the responsibility of destroying that objects no that responsibility was taken by java programming language by having a separate component inside the jvm by having a separate component inside the jvm that component is what they know garbage collector garbage collector is responsible for destroying all the objects what we created in java application where developers are getting flexibility in which programming language c++ or java definitely inside the java developers are having flexibility because of this can this type of reasons only java is getting very good demand in outside almost all the developers are almost all the developers are uh, diverted to work with what their java programming language right so this is garbage collector this topic here we are understanding next one is after that after completion of this garbage collection collection collector then what next one here regular expressions what next topic you know regular expressions uh, guys i want to say one example not try to understand this example no everybody understand this example in general might be some registration forms we are able to get in any website or in any application registration forms are available sign up options are available sign in in the sense login sign up registration form we are able to get where in some cases might be in the registration forms what we are able to get there date of birth field is available am i right or not date of birth in general what is the format of the date of birth no date month year for example if i give that format date that means 0 to 30 month uh, date in the sense 1 to 30 month is what there 1 to 12 year may be okay some years we are able to add four digit format here we are able to provide am i right or not okay for example in place of date if i provide 60 is it possible 
is it possible to provide 60 as a date now okay month for example if i give you know 25 is a month is it possible year for example if i give you know 180 is a year if i give you know then is it possible where we need to check the data is valid or not the process of checking whether data is valid or not is called as what there data validations the process of checking whether data is valid or not is called as what there data validations observe carefully to perform this data validations we need to perform data validations we need what there no regular expressions so date format we are going to prepare one fixed format if user is entering the data the data will be compared along with the this is a format if the data is as per the format well and good no problem allowed if data is not as per the format now where some mistakes are available give a message to the user your date is your date of birth value is invalid invalid date value invalid date of birth value please try to correct that date of birth value like this we are going to give a message now so for performing data validations what we are getting there now regular expressions topic here we are getting clearly right sir then after that after completion of this the next topic is like what there awt and the next one is like what there spring up these are totally low level topics there but not required but as per my responsibility i have to discuss about them here if you want to give some stars there 10 stars we have to give for like what there and regular expressions and for garbage collection 10 number of stars here we can provide no issues but awd and like spring not required to go for any stars there but little bit minimum awareness care i have to provide here as per our requirement what is that minimum awareness care i want to provide there observe carefully awd and spring both will be used for gui programming what is that gui graphical user interface a window text fields check boxes radio buttons uh, to prepare such type of programming at core java we are having awd and spring here but not in use nowadays people are not using that but inside this awd and spring whatever the topics are available the topics are important implementation of awd and spring is important because of that importance only i am trying to discuss about this topic even still today where number of design patterns are covered inside this awd and spring to give understanding of these design patterns now we are going to understand like what there awd and spring otherwise not required to discuss about these two concepts but we need to understand the concepts here that's why i'm going to discuss about it even though not in use but as for my responsibility i'm going to give the content simple point we have to understand here officially we are having some boundaries about the topic now but at the end my philosophy is what there what i know about java the total content i want to deliver what i know the content here now this syllabus and everything is a little bit boundary only official boundary only but we are able to understand the content in now unlimited kind of content here we are going to understand try to understand it here now in core java max information how much is the max content that max information we are going to understand inside this core java we are able to observe it clearly in the future now right sir anyway awd and spring is not required but still i want to discuss about these concepts as per the requirement as per their internal views understand it clearly next one is after completion of this but anyway guys order i am not following there almost all uh, right from 19th onwards right from 20th onwards i am not following order okay still if you want to see the order here i will give the order to you now try to understand it no next topic is what there after this regular expression we are going to understand what there arrays in general people are going to discuss arrays at a starting point at starting point i will give basic awareness on arrays now but arrays effectively we are going to discuss on what there here at last year right multiple elements if you want to hold if you want to represent more than one element there we are going to use what there arrays now but now after this arrays i need to go for like what there collection framework after this arrays here we have to understand what their collection framework this is the most important topic if you want to give stars there here we have to give like what their 75 number of stars 100 stars we are given for what topic there 100 stars we are given for what topic there object orientation whoops next to 75 number of stars no other topic is having 75 number of stars only what is available collection framework this is the most important topic in java j2e how much importance is available for object orientation same importance is available for what there collection framework then what exactly the purpose of this collection framework no simple understand it clearly for example for example <clears throat> i went to some vegetable market where i want to take some vegetables 
maybe fruits market for example i'm so carefully before that i want to give one more example try to understand it no i went to one kirana shop one small kirana shop i went there okay in that kirana shop i want to take some eggs eggs one dozen of eggs i want to take so at my home i have a x box i brought that x box i went to the shop i given that x box to him the shopkeeper he might be giving 12 number of x on that box box size is what there 12 only yes, sir got my point on box size is what there 12 only for example by looking that x now there were at very good size then reasonable price is available might be price was dropped a little bit when compared with the previous so i have an intention i want to take five more eggs extra but any chance for me to take that five more eggs no as i have taken only as i got only 12 blocks x box no is it possible for me to take five more extra eggs no now the size is fixed or not the x box is having only 12 12 holes only 12 blocks only within the 12 blocks i can keep only 12 eggs but even if i have an intention to take five more eggs no not possible with me am i right or not okay this is case number 1 we can understand case number 2 i went to the vegetable market actual intention is i want to take one dozen of bananas actually i went to the fruits market where i have seen dozen of bananas along with that bananas no where i have seen mosambis there also be very good okay then i tempted for it and i have taken one more dozen of mosambis where i have seen mangoes there also be very good i have taken one dozen of mangoes no but actually initial my thought is what there one dozen of bananas for that only one small carry bag i have taken but by seeing that remaining fruits no there also be very good i have taken five to six items extra as my point or not but what is the status of my carry bag no my carry bag is able to accommodate it it is a stressable and so my point here it is a stretchable and so my point here there we can keep any number of things here maybe a dozen of bananas dozen of like what are the mosambis and dozen of like what are the sapotas or dozen of like what are the mangoes maybe one kg of like what are the grapes everything i have taken a pack i have taken there i went out even if you want to take some extra some other we can keep that tomatoes if i want to take there the one kg of tomatoes i want there yes we can include that why because it is a carry pack a big pack understand the difference between x box and carry bag no and so my point here luggage car luggage cover x box and carry bag no x box is having fixed size or not x box is having what there fixed size that is exactly called as an array arrays are having fixed size more than that we are unable to keep the elements point number 1 second one is what there after that carry bag in the sense any number of items we can keep any number of items we can remove so dynamically extensible dynamically shrinkable are you get my point or not dynamically we can extend dynamically we can shrink that is exactly called as what their collection collection framework so arrays are not giving more flexibility but collections are giving more flexibility for developing the applications because of this reason only we are going to talk about what their collection framework and what next one arrays content here that we are going to understand there after completion of this some other topic here we are going to understand like what their generics that another topic is like what their generics but at this level we are not going to understand this content here right sir then maybe in the future here we are able to understand so this is like what there if you want to give stars there we can give 25 number of stars for the generics no is also important nothing sir simple statement collections with the collection some drawbacks are available typefulness will be reduced with the collections typefulness don't worry if you are not understanding it future will cover that to improve typefulness in collection framework we will go for what there generics to improve typefulness in collections we will go for what there generics here i will discuss with you don't worry for it but not possible to understand this content at present here right guys then after that <clears throat> all of you observe carefully after completion of it hmm. all right sir awt spring these topics here we understand there after completion of this awt and spring now anyway gui programming we are able to understand then after that i want to start what there java 8 version features number of topics are available in java 8 more and more number of topics are available in java 8 please recognize the content here what we are getting
చెక్ చేసుకున్నా కరెక్ట్గా డెమో అప్పుడే చెక్ చేసుకుంటే ముందు చూసుకోవాలి కదా టైం ఎంత right sir now guys here itself we can understand no not only this here we are getting like what there java 8 version features topics are available inside the java 8 version so many topics are available main topic is lambda expressions lambda expressions is very very important that lambda expressions here we have to understand that is the point here i'm telling to you lambda expressions is required right sir after this lamb after the java 8 features now next one is like what there java 9 version features here also be module system java module system like so many topics are important topics are available that we have to understand from this point onwards we can understand it java 10 java 11 java 12 java 13 java 14 java 15 java 16 java 17 java 18 what is the latest version of the java 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 19 so we are able to understand up to java 19 version features so up to the latest version before completing your program before completing your course if java 20 is coming there you can understand it that java 20 also we are going to understand so up to the latest completely up to the latest we are going to understand all the content guys try to understand it clearly so overall this is thought what exactly the syllabus here we are going to understand in our classes but we people are thinking about it what versions you are going to be covered maybe yesterday also might be last class also people are asking some questions to me but i'm giving answers to you up to the latest on that day the day of closing these classes which latest version is available up to that i'm going to discuss with you clearly there's a clear cut information there but if you learn up to this java 19 version there how long it will be useful for you if you think about it at present market is effectively using 8 to 9 or 10 versions only but when software industry will be migrated for java 19 version now it may take uh, nearly 7 to 8 years of time next after that after 7 to 8 years of time maybe the software industry will check for what their java 19 version features so up to java 19 if you learn now you will not get any problem in the next 10 years of time these versions no need to learn again these new features get automatically these versions are going to be sufficient for us this is what exactly the thing here we are able to understand guys right sir all of you are getting clarity on this now right and um, that's okay fine today i want to wind up this session here guys observe carefully a full stack then basic java full stack and everything our admin people will talk with you regarding that issues no you can reach out our office there there we can get more clarity then today just overview of this core java what exactly the concepts i'm going to be discussed with you are given that then tomorrow directly i want to start what their introduction topic directly we are going to start what their introduction topic where whatever the topics are available i'm going to list out all the topics that we are going to understand effectively understand it what i'm telling you know so tomorrow without delay we are going to start our content please i'm requesting to everybody try to come for the class at exactly uh, like a 4 30 then five minutes is okay five minutes or 10 minutes but half an hour delay then 40 minute delay in the sense uh, understand it then how much it is not good right so better to come for this class here guys i'm telling to all of you if you want to go for online students especially if you want to go for this uh, related things fee related things or maybe somewhat administration kind of related things now contact with our people then this number last number is okay then we can go for it and course duration may be for core java three months of time minimum i need to take why because my content is a heavy content i have to complete that so minimum i have to take that three months of time for core java basic java package four to five months of time complete java package six to seven months of time full stack java seven to eight months of time it will take seven months of time minimum for full stack java in full stack java i specify nearly 14 topics 14 subjects we have to cover there so we have to take minimum up to that much of time in the first cross first video i given everything there now try to check once 
then we are able to get it on friday i have taken one demo class in that demo class i have taken i given more clarity on the concepts no no please check that demo class that where i have given the total content guys okay then fee related things and everything for online students you can reach to these numbers there for offline people directly you can go to our office if you required any information then we can go for it or in outside might be my representatives are available we can talk with them they will give more clarity about the fees or maybe durations and everything no need to worry for this clearly right sir today is the first class we can feel it is the first class nothing i discussed earlier even tomorrow onwards the first class we can understand now then today up to today and last class both are like what there only orientation i have given there right that's okay guys then shall we meet on tomorrow and one more thing i forgot to specify i think some of you are new today please recognize this within few days of time i want to take your class at what time yeah exactly guys 6 to 7:30 i want to take due to the demo classes only i am taking these classes there within few days of time within few days of time i will go for what there 6 to 7:30 i will take your class don't don't think in wrong way that is in the first class itself i am telling to you clearly why because due to the schedule very tight schedule i am taking demo class at 4:30 but within few days of time i'll give that intimation to you one day before i will give intimation to you you have to attend that 6 to 730 class that is your permanent timing guys all of you are getting it or not what i am telling to you that's all guys that's all for today then we'll meet on tomorrow tomorrow we'll check the remaining content guys thank you thanks a lot we'll meet on tomorrow back end uh, yeah php is the server side programming right the combination see full stack which is a chala one and okay sir office lo the list is search chudandi oka motham browser untadi dalla meek list of topics undi okka sir check cheyandi sir kodu meeks ah raavuchu nadiki raavuchu parla 14 topics undi full stack okay 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 no okay okay no 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 okay no okay chodu no sir parledu meeku doubt nanu adigira cheptanu angular react or maybe node jx node jx server side untadu malli సర్వర్ సైడ్ ఉంటుంది ఓకే ఉంటాయి సర్వర్ సైడ్ ఉంటాయి ఇప్పుడు జావా వెబ్ డౌన్ జావాకి వచ్చేసరికి ఎట్లా ఉంటాయి అండి కోర్ జావా అడ్వాన్స్ జావా హైబ్రోనెట్ స్ప్రింగ్ స్ప్రింగ్ బోర్డ్ మైక్రో సర్వీసెస్ వెబ్ సర్వీసెస్ విచ్ ఇస్ జావా స్టెప్ మిడిల్ వేర్ అంటాం దీన్ని దీని ఫ్రంట్ ఎండ్ వచ్చేసి కోర్ జా హెచ్టిఎల్ సిఎస్ఎస్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ బూట్ స్టెప్ ఫ్రంట్ ఎండ్ వస్తుంది ఇది మిడిల్ వేర్ జావా పార్ట్ అంతా మిడిల్ వేర్ అవన్నీ ఉంటాయి ఇది ఎంత జావా పార్ట్ అంతా మిడిల్ వేర్ ఉంటుంది బ్యాక్ ఎండ్ ఉంటుంది ఆరోగ్యలు కానీ మై సిక్యూర్ కానీ ఇవి వీటితో కంప్లీట్ అయిపోతుంది ప్రాజెక్ట్ అది before java world okay hmm. thank you guys and uh, student already has jws in already so okay then okay. thank you uh better to go for like advanced yoga guys if you have already knowledge on core java and uh link link from which can i log in daily guys the same link whatever the link uh, today you joined there shubham then try to use the same link guys same link we can use there directly we can get it okay next one uh, for that ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho right right and for selenium guys then whatever the stars are given there these topics are very very important for selenium testing i think so some some of you might be asked this question there okay for selenium for selenium whatever the stars are given there in the syllabus no the stars the stars related topics here we have to understand it is mandatory okay fine sir yeah man sir it's possible it's okay we can take this advanced java and full stack java courses no uh virtually then I, i will give i will give clarity on tomorrow can i give the clarity on tomorrow uh, guys then i need to go for some other class there don't worry then don't mind then i will give more clarity on tomorrow tomorrow i will give some time for you then uh, i will discuss more on tomorrow content guys okay please recognize this yeah yeah thank you guys thanks a lot we'll meet on tomorrow tomorrow uh, i will uh, check the remaining parts don't worry okay tomorrow i will assign some time for you i will clarify all of your doubts don't worry for it right thank you thanks a lot